Hello everyone, welcome to the last section of the course, building a sensor data analytics application. In this section, we will build one such application using Elasticstack that can handle a large amount of data applying the techniques that we have learnt so far. Now, we will move on to the first video of this section that deals with modelling data in Elasticsearch. We have seen the structure of the final record after enriching the data. That should help us model the data in Elasticsearch. In this video, we will apply few techniques to model the data. Techniques such as defining an index template, understanding the mapping. Let us look at the index template that we will define. In the Kibana console, click on DevTools to navigate to the console. Here, we will execute this code snippet. This index template will create a new index with the name sensor data with year month date format when any client attempts to index the first record in this index. On executing the code, we will get this output. Another technique is understanding the mapping. The mapping that we defined in the index template contains all the fields that will be present in the denormalized record after lookup. Moving on to setting up the metadata database. We need to have a database that has metadata about the sensors. This database will hold the tables that we discussed in the introduction to the application section. We are storing the data in a relational database, MySQL, but you can use any other relational database equally as well. Since we are using MySQL, we will be using the MySQL JDBC driver to connect to the database. Please ensure that you have a few things set up on your system. First, we need to have MySQL database community version 5.5, 5.6 or 5.7. You can use an existing database if you already have it on your system. Another important thing is to install the downloaded MySQL database and log in with the root user. In our case, we have already downloaded and installed MySQL database and logged in with our root user. After that, we will execute this block of code. You can view the result in the output section at the bottom. Last task that we need to perform is log in to the newly created sensor metadata database and verify that the three tables, those are sensor type, locations and sensors, exist in the database. You can verify that the database was created and populated successfully by executing this query. On executing this query, we will get this result. You can observe that our sensor metadata database is ready to look up the necessary sensor metadata.